Okay, so just finishing up my clinical day and wanted to jump on as promised here on the channel. Currently, I'm just sharing with you all about nurse practitioner clinicals and what to expect, the types of patients that we have been seeing. I'm currently in my women's health nurse practitioner clinical rotation. It is going amazing. Um, today we had, I would say just fairly interesting. We had a patient who came in for an OB appointment. Um, the next check, she will do her one hour glucose tolerance testing. And what was kind of interesting, was that this was the first time that we had seen her. She actually sees another physician and she appeared to be under the influence of some type of a substance. Um, we did not bring it up in the appointment. However, she also tested uh, positive for nitrites in her urine as well as blood. So we're sending it off to do culture and sensitivity. She's had chronic urinary tract infections this entire pregnancy. She's been on several rounds of antibiotics. So of course you have to catch urinary tract infections quickly and treat them appropriately in pregnancy. Obviously they can turn into acute pyelonephritis and which is something that we definitely want to avoid and can also cause some negative outcomes for the baby as well. So we're going to order a, um, a drug test as well in that urine that was sent over. So that was just kind of interesting. I hadn't uh, encountered that so far in the women's health rotation. Another thing that was kind of neat that I got to see today, which is this was the second time that I was able to see the um, implantable, the Nexplon um, implantable birth control. So that was kind of interesting. Just, it's a very simple procedure, but you have to have specialized training to do it. Even after, you know, you're a doctor, you still have to sit through the specific training for the device. And so what she does is feel here, about three fingers over and then she made a mark with the pen and then just to mark the exact location that it needed to go in, clean the area with alcohol first, then the betadine solution. It is a sterile procedure. So then she replaced the gloves with sterile gloves and then did a lidocaine injection. One CC is what she ended up using, but they can use up to two uh, CCs and then went ahead and placed the Nexplon, Nexplon um, implantable birth control. So yeah, the patient had already had it two times. This was her third time she had taken it out to conceive the baby. And this was a postpartum, six week postpartum appointment. So you have to wait six weeks after a baby is born typically to start birth control. And this was her birth control of choice. So another thing that I thought was interesting and that I learned today is starting birth control. If you are breastfeeding, they want to try to avoid estrogen. So instead of using a combined oral contraceptive, meaning estrogen and progesterone, they will just use a progesterone only birth control. So the only oral pill that you can take is called Micronor and that is progesterone only, or you can do other things like for instance, the next one on and uh, the Depo Provera. So just learning some information like that. So I think that's always interesting and exciting to be able to add that knowledge um, to all the different things that I'm learning so far. So it's really exciting. Um, we had another pessary, a pessary fitting today. So that is, I think the third one now that I've seen of that, which is really interesting. And so if you don't know much about pessaries, you should look into it. There are multiple different types that um, the patient can be fitted with and use. So kind of reading up and researching on that um, and learning which antibiotics to use in urinary tract infections and which trimester of pregnancy you can use certain ones in versus other ones. And yeah, so that's basically the patients. We did several annuals today and I don't know, I find it very fascinating and interesting when you do an annual exam and you visualize the cervix just the major change, one person can have a normal cervix and it look this way and another person can have a perfectly healthy normal cervix and it look this way. And so that's always very interesting or they can be um, tilted anterior or posterior, which actually is very, very common. Um, so yeah, that's basically the types of patients that we saw today. And if you like videos like this, if you like to know more about clinical rotation, specifically women's health topics, go ahead and comment that below if you have any video ideas of other nurse practitioner student topics that you would like to see addressed on the channel. I would love to make one with your name on it. 
All right, so become an NP with me. I'm just an average Jane doing my thing, and I would love to have you come along for the journey. All right, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video so YouTube will push it out to other NP students that can possibly gain some new knowledge. All right, see you soon.